Rockstar, the official energy drink of Formula Drift. Woo! Look at this. Chelsea to Nopa versus Kiev, Ukraine's own Alex Holovnia, Formula Drift rookie. In this 86, he had some great runs earlier today and even yesterday. So we'd love to see Holovnia step up. The Huragan Aspida from Ukraine, from Kiev. Chelsea Nova, Penzo, Mustang RTR, Spec 5, FD. PC Racing, hit a fire for the doors, of course, Penzo, synthetic. Big angle there. Nice job by Chelsea Nova. Pass that inside flip, just nudging over that PC Racing. <laughs> Definitely punted that one in that second outside zone. Bologna, welcome to FD. Chelsea Nova, he's had a lot of turn and burns on this track by Chelsea Nova. He's got a lot of fans in the building, but flying the Ukrainian flag. It's great to see, again, another international driver and flying that Ukrainian flag. Well, Holovnia here did a really good job. I think the best so far in top 32 of getting this car positioned after that transition in the infield. You can see he was really well positioned in outside zone one, but look where he puts his car as they come by inside cliff number two. I think that was really well done by Holovnia. It could be a little bit closer here, but he is mimicking the line perfectly throughout the run. He didn't make any compromises online. Maybe just a little bit at the, at the beginning here of outside zone one, but look at him get his car back into the right position through there. His tires in the box. He's in the pocket with Denofa. Denofa hits that inside clip, but Alumnia just is positioned really, really well. Again, he could be closer, of course, but he is on the right line within a decent amount of proximity. So overall, that's a, a good position to be in as a chase driver. Now, in the lead, he's gonna have to put together a great run here, get himself high on zone one and zone two, tight on the clips. Without hitting that inside clip two, will give him a bit of an advantage over Chelsea. Chelsea needs to stay close, stay tight, and mimic the line, most importantly, not cheat by getting too far forward against Lovnia. Lovnia, a very unique build. I want you to elaborate that on the instant replay. Let's take a look. Lovnia from Ukraine initiates into the outside zone. He's working his way to the top. Good angle from him. Chelsea throws some more at it in that spec 5 FD. Now pass that inside clip. Doesn't punt it out of the way. Chelsea on there. But look at Holovnia. Dial set it. And there goes Holovnia into that second outside zone. He is giving it the beans. Well done by Holovnia out front. Chelsea Nova strong in that chase position. A good lead run for this Formula Drift rookie going against a veteran that is Chelsea Nova, always a contender. So after that first watch, Jared, I think they both listened to me. It seemed like they both <laughs> put their cars where yeah, they needed spotters. to. They absolutely were listening to me. That's why they did it. They knew what they needed to do here, and they both put together great runs. You can see Halopnia didn't get up on the zone one as early as he wanted to, maybe not as deep as he wanted to in time all the way through, but well positioned nonetheless. Denofa, very patient and very well positioned. Look at the way he's got his car placed. He's within more proximity than Holovnia was, I think, overall throughout the course. And in the right position, in the pocket. He's not trying to get ahead. He's not trying to rush. I, I, I don't want to insult Chelsea here, but this is not characteristic of him. He's usually too aggressive. You know, the wrong time. Would you could you, would you attribute that to not going against Holovnia much? Because a lot of the drivers he's gone against, it's a Maybe. rookie. But this was a really uh, great job from Chelsea in the chase position. Uh, Holovnia, again, did a great job in the lead. I think we're going to get a BC Racing side-by-side -side here, potentially, yes, we which are. is always fun to watch. And I think it may be helpful for me, anyway, watching the side-by-side -side to, to really pick out all the little intricacies of the run. So on the left, you've got Chelsea leading. On the right, Holovnia leading. And look at the proximity. Chelsea's definitely winning in that in that position. Uh, you can see that he's close, close, close. Watch the transition here. Holovnia did get close there, but Chelsea never let Holovnia get away. Whereas you can see Holovnia did let Chelsea get away slightly and started to reel it back in. But Chelsea was just, it's almost like there was a rope between both cars and he never really overextended that rope. He just kind of stayed at the same distance in the chase position all the way through. It was a really great job by both drivers. Uh, very, you know, for us, kind of surprising for Holovnia because we haven't seen much of his driving to see this level of driving from him, yep. the skill that he has. It's, um, you know, I, I guess a great uh, sign of what's to come for him. Yeah, really excited to see Hello Now, unique build. What's that, what's the engine under the hood? I think it's a VR, is Yeah, it? yep. All right, Chelsea Nofa, one more time, and one more time. So they're going at it again. Yep. Ryan, you uh, you uh, deem that Chelsea Nofa, but Hello lives to see another battle against this veteran. And like you said, see the battle of Holovnia and Chelsea Denofa. And Ukrainian driver Holovnia. 
If Chelsea goes on, he goes against Forsberg. Or Holovnia moves on, he goes against Forsberg. Those guys have seen a lot of battle. Talking about Forsberg and Tanofa over the years. This is the one more time battle. Holovnia, FD rookie. You can only tell the future by looking at the past. Chelsea Tanofa is going to step it up in a major way. I can guarantee it. Sometimes, sometimes he burns the meatloaf, though. You know what I'm saying? Like he just gets after it and turns up the heat. So we'll we'll see. What do you what do you expect here, Ryan? It's hard to know what to expect with Mr. Denofa. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by his sort of restraint. Let's yeah. say in the in the first. You said uh, patience was the word, which patience, I thought yeah. fit fit perfectly. I think that his patience was properly done. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit closer. Okay. Would you know? Because I chose Chelsea. I'm just putting myself in the other judges' yep. positions, and maybe they expected him to be a little bit more aggressive. All right, here we go. So the one more time battle between Denofa, the Pennzoil, Nitto Tires, Mustang RTR, Spec 5 FD. There we go, Denofa, big angle, and Holovnia tucks in, mimicking that angle, and now proximity. He straightens out, going past that inside clip. Holovnia straightens out once again. That's going to be a big downfall for Holovnia, but Denofa finds the crease and sets that Nitto tire, G2, right inside of Helovnia, takes that BC Racing tropical trackside clipping points as a little souvenir back to Ukraine with them, but now he drops it right there. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. So, maybe a little bit of pressure here, Ryan, taking a look at it again. As you watch Chelsea Denofa get initiated, you can see Helovnia taking a bit of a compromise line to gain that proximity. But this is where it starts to fall off for Holovnia. He has a poor transition there before. He has low angle. The transition isn't great, and then he doesn't have a good line either uh, from this point to the finish, essentially. And this is where, you know, you, you see somebody doing really well in one battle, but you have to be consistently good from battle to battle to battle. And Holovnia maybe needs to work on the consistency side. He did amazing on that first battle but it fell apart a little bit on in the chase on this first run of this battle. So we saw some errors in the chase position, now going to the lead. Chelsea did a great job in the lead. Holovnia now needs to put on a very high level lead run here to compete with what Chelsea did in his lead. In the chase position, Chelsea needs to position his car properly and still exhibit that patience that he did on the first battle, right? He needs to be patient, but he still needs to have a level of aggressiveness that gets his car positioned properly and closely to Holovnia. But after watching that chase, you know, is he going to be a little concerned of Holovnia's ability to put together that good lead run and get close to him? So we'll I, I would say that if, if Chelsea makes a mistakeless run and just does, does what he needs to do, he'll get, he'll get the victory here. But Holovnia, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, that's... Yeah, unfortunately. That's a massive hit. Let's make sure they're okay. Holovnia straightens yeah. out. Chelsea's vehicle, and that's a lot of that's a lot of critical parts. They're up on the bank as well. Make sure Chelsea's okay. Yeah, let's this is lay, the let's, risk let's, of... Let's lay, let's lay out, make sure they're all right. Yeah. Chelsea's okay. All right, we just heard that. All right, we are getting thumbs up from our safety crew here. You saw the attitude of the vehicle jump up. That's going to be a cleanup there in aisle one. Holovnia, you saw him correct. Look at the Got fluid coming snapped to the wall. Make some noise for him. Chelsea Denofa and Holovnia. Alex Holovnia from Ukraine, from Kiev. Chelsea Denofa. Now resident here in Florida once again. That's going to be a hard hit. You know, you, you got to think here, RTR. There you go. Waving some hands. Holovnia and Denofa. So... A hard hit. There's going to be a big cleanup here. We got a lot of fluids out there on track. And with with that mistake, I think you guys you guys can judge it here. You know, it was, it was Holovnia. Watch this initiation. That back end just whips him into the wall. Here we go. Yeah, Boom. it was just uh, the line Oof. was taking him up closer and closer to the wall. So he tried to take angle out of the car, but it wasn't enough. It was too little, too late. And he ended up getting in the wall, and Chelsea had nowhere to go. Like I was saying earlier, this is that risk of being close to somebody that you maybe don't have 100% uh, like, I guess, confidence behind. And this is the result of, of that happening. Um, Holovnia just pushed a little too hard in the lead. He knew he had to. He knew he had to put together a great lead run and unfortunately just pushed a little bit too hard. And Chelsea was right there with nowhere to go. 
But Chelsea was doing exactly what he needed to do in the chase position. He was positioning himself properly. You could see he was in the pocket. He was on throttle. He was within proximity. It's everything that he was supposed to be doing. So, of course, no fault to Chelsea here whatsoever with what happened. Um, the fault is entirely on Holovny on the lead position. Uh, I believe all the judges have their, their uh, votes in. But I think we know which way this is going to go. All right. You can see Chelsea already inspecting the car. Holovnia. So, you know... Uh, I'm assuming, you know, unofficially, Chelsea Nofa will get the win. Holovny with a mistake. Given yeah. after that first run, Holovny need to step it up. Just unfortunately, he goes into the wall. Chelsea spins out. You can already see he's on the phone telling the guys, all right, you know, we got the victory. We're going to have a halftime break, but let's get it dialed because guess what? With him getting the win, he'll go against Chris Forsberg, who had one of the most phenomenal runs, yeah. uh, not only just a lead, but a chase to take out RCP. And those guys have history. They've gone against each other. They've seen some great battles against each other. And uh, two, you know, obviously three-time champion Forsberg. Chelsea has yet to win a championship, but always a contender. He's won events. He knows how to get it done. He knows this track probably – Top top three, maybe even one of the top drivers that has drifted here at OSW. Hence why, you know, obviously, you know, he's got a fan here. So, yep. you know, taking a look at, you know, the Ford team, they're so deep, you know. So they're sharing, you know, between James Dean, Adam LZ, Chelsea Nova. You, know, you got three cars here. They got corners. They got history here. Vaughn Gittin Jr., you know, 2012, he's a two-time champion. Ford has a lot of history in the Formula Drift Championship. Let's take a look at the iconic brand that is Ford. 